Hello, and welcome to this demonstration for the GTCF Mobile Scan app version 3.2.2. You can download the app at the App Store or at the Google Play Store. Let's begin. The home screen allows you to access the main menu, as well as our in-app support at the bottom right of the screen. Tapping the in-app support button will allow you to access our knowledge base filled with articles on using the app and accessing your leads. You may also chat with one of our live support agents Monday through Friday. You can do this by tapping on the chat icon and then tapping conversations. Once you fill out the form, you will be automatically connected to one of our agents. Now let's get into the app. From the home screen, tap on College Fairs. This will display a list of all upcoming fairs. Fairs are listed in date order. Additionally, you can filter by event organizer. Find the event organizer, select them, and a list of that fair organizer's events will be displayed on the screen. The GTCF Mobile Scan app hosts two types of fairs, included scanning and app code required scanning. When selecting an included scanning fair, a list of colleges and universities who registered for the fair will be displayed. For app code scanning events, an access code is required. If you have an access code, it will automatically be displayed for you in the box once the event is selected. If you need an access code, you can tap on the green button at the bottom, which will take you to our website and allow you to purchase an access code. Today we will select an included scanning event to demo the app's functionality. Again, once an event is selected, a list of colleges and universities will be displayed. Find your college and university from the list. You may search or scroll to find your institution. This will take you to the main scan screen. Before we begin the scanning process, let's take a couple of moments to go over the features available on the scan screen. We have Fair Organizer listed at the top, the event name underneath, followed by the dates, the college and university name, the user profile, the lead count uploaded, leads that are not yet uploaded, and a new feature, where are my leads? Tapping this will take you to a page that displays the lead portal contact assigned by your institution for this event or for this app code. The email address listed here is connected to the person in your organization who will have access to download the leads collected. We also have a scan and qualify function, which we'll get into in a moment, the ability to do manual entry, a display of the last lead scanned, the ability to view all of your scan leads, and finally, access to view all of your lead uploads from past fairs. Let's look at the scan and qualify feature. Enabling Scan and Qualify will take the user to the Qualify Lead page after a lead is scanned. From here, you can add Rep Insights and rank the lead. These Rep Insight notes are available only to you, the institution. These will not be seen by any prospective students. If you're scanning an affair in which you do not have time to qualify each lead, you can simply uncheck the Scan and Qualify and this will allow you to scan multiple barcodes in rapid succession. In a moment, we'll show you how you can come back to leads that you scanned and qualify them at a later time. The GTCF Mobile Scan app does not require internet access to scan. We'll simulate a lack of internet access by putting our device into airplane mode. When there is a lack of internet access, you'll be notified at the top of the app with a connection lost message. When scanning a barcode without internet access, you will see the barcode ID number. No name or student information will be displayed. However, rest assured that this information is being captured and will be available to display the next time you have internet access. 
The lead will display in red. This lets the user know that this lead has not yet been uploaded to our GTCF servers. Upon regaining internet access, you will see a connection enabled message display at the top of the screen. Leads captured while offline will automatically be uploaded to our servers within five minutes of regaining internet access. Leads will also be uploaded automatically upon the next scan. If you're having trouble scanning the barcode, you may enter the barcode ID number, which can be found at the bottom of the barcode. Tap Manual Entry and enter the barcode ID in the input box. I mentioned before that you can go back and access leads that you've scanned. We have two features to do this. One of them is Last Lead Scanned. This allows you to tap on the bottom section of the app under Last Scanned Lead. Tapping this will take you to the Qualify Lead page of the last person you scanned. Here you can add additional rep insights and rank the lead. To access previously scanned leads, tap on the View Leads icon at the bottom of the screen. This will display a list of all attendees scanned for this event. Selecting a name from the list will take you to the Qualify Lead page for that attendee. Let's talk about uploading scans. The scan leads will upload automatically when internet access is available. Otherwise, remaining leads will automatically upload within five minutes of establishing an internet connection. Additionally, you can access the uploaded leads for any previous event by tapping the Uploads button at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Tapping the Uploads button will display a list of events in which you previously scanned. You can come back to this screen at any time, even after the fair is over, to ensure all of your leads are uploaded. This concludes our brief demonstration of the GTCF Mobile Scan App version 3.2.2. Thank you again for viewing this demonstration.